Well, hello there. You're listening to another episode of the Thursday Film Club podcast. I'm your host, Josh Booker, and I'm joined today by three of the most legendary film critics of our age. Mark and Moe. To my left, Mr. Danny Clinthorpe. Hello! To his left, Tom Mr. Tom Simons. Good evening. He's actually sat opposite me. Uh, well, to Tom's left, Mr. T. Muddy. Hi. Danny, oh. if you had to cast uh, an actress to play Tom in the <laughs> film biopic of his life, who would you pick? Uh, It'd be... Uh, the woman from Bridesmaids. Which one? The uh, the main one, the, the blonde woman. Blonde one. Yeah, I can dig that. She good. Kristen Wiig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. I would pick Kristen Stewart. What to play top? That is a dig. I don't know, man. She's kind of fit. No, she's pretty. You know. That's what Tom is. Tom is <gasps> emotionless. Emotion- Stony face. Emotionless. Word, but emotional when it matters. <laughs> yeah, all right, Tom. Okay, strong, Tom. Same question, but for tea. <laughs> well, it has to be a female. It has to be a female. Um, Don't uh, say Halle Berry. <laughs> Halle Berry, I was thinking of Halle Berry. It fucking was. <laughs> yeah, Halle Berry, locked in. Halle Berry. I, I, I feel like to play tea, you need like some serious energy. Though. I would have picked... Chris Tucker, but he's not a woman. <sighs> Throwing a spanner in the works there. Yeah. Chris Tucker might be a woman. He does play a woman in uh, Fresh Prince. There you go then, Chris Tucker. Chris the T Tucker. Well, yeah. I mean, it's Halle Berry. Well, that's, I don't really mind you. I don't, I don't yeah. mind either. So okay, T. Babies with her. Hit me. Same question for Josh. <laughs> Who um, would you get to play Josh? I don't know any female actresses with receding hairlines. <laughs> yeah, or a beard. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> see this shade being thrown. Oh, um, I'd say. <laughs> I I don't know why. Some very hairy females. <laughs> Actually, I think just because I feel like being generous, I'm going to give you Brie Larson. I want Brie Larson to play. Damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like you really hit the nail on the head. I think there. no. I think um, who's that? Uh, the Jewish lady. The comedian. <laughs> so for me, the com- has to be a mixed Sarah race woman. For him, has yeah. to be a Jew. Sarah Silverman. Yeah. Well, oh, I didn't even think of that. I just thought she's kind of awkward. Oh my god. I thought she she's had an absolute bellend. I, quite... I don't even mind Sarah Silverman. Fuck you. She's got a similar kind of personality to you, I think. Is she? Kind of. Bit of a dick. Just a bit of a dick, bit she's awkward. Not, she's more of a dick than you are. She's not funny either. She isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, go on then, Josh. Who to play Daddy? Ooh. Danny DeVito. Me- Melissa McCarthy. Who's that? The, the really fat the one. The fat girl. From her ghost boss. Bridesmaids. Oh, a bridesmaid. That's yeah. who I was thinking for Tom as well. Oh. But then I changed my mind. She's possibly it. the most unfunny woman I've ever seen. Why her? She's kind of funny. Oh, yeah. She's got a good ad lib. Oh, why don't I give you angry? She does a you. <laughs> What's that woman called? <laughs> um, uh, blonde woman. Uh, uh, Amy Schumer. There we go. If we're gonna go. Sorry. Why are you just naming people that are shit? I don't know. She's S- she's gonna be the best female comedian in the world. Amy Schumer, the one that everyone hates. No, she's funny. Man. She, everyone like. Well, she's the most popular female. I hate her. Parks and Rec is well good. She's not in there. Oh, Amber, what's her name? Would is Amy Schumer Josh. in Parks and Rec? Yeah, she's the main character. No, she's not. No, no. Yes, yeah, she, she is. is. Amy Schumer. Wait, which one's no, Amy Schumer? Amy Schumer is blonde the blonde, woman. like, she's... semi-fat, but actually she's just right. a yeah. normal shape. Parks person. and Rec main character. Is she in Wet Hot no, American Summer? idiot. No. What is going on with these Amy two? Schumer is like a stand-up comedian. Yeah, yeah and also the main character. She's not that woman. She Fuck. has blonde hair. She always talks about sex. All right. Well, Danny, you look it up on your phone. I think she looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so there's uh, actresses who would play us. Um, today, if you're a regular listener of the podcast, you will know that we will be discussing... Just so everyone knows, I showed Tom a picture of Amy Schumer and he was wrong. Oh. Oh, yeah. She's Can crazy. we get Cuba Gooding in the building? Cuba Duba Duba. Oh, first of the day. It's Cuba. always good. Wait. Write that on the tally. Tom, that's the first Cuba of the series. La 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 la. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Josh, get involved. It's always nice to start a podcast off with a fresh Cuba. Oh, there you go. I love the okay. smell of 
Cuba style. Josh podcast. just got Cubaed. Can I just uh, say that was enjoying Cuba. Cuba? You were more sure. Yeah, he was uh, more like. Uh, I'll take sixty percent of that Cuba. You can take ninety percent. Yeah, sure. let yeah. Josh get involved. Um, yeah, so we will be discussing the controversial uh, Larry Clark nineteen ninety five film Kids. Kids. We know what box is off. What? <laughs> Kids, oh, kids, fuck you off. Yeah. That, that sounds rude. Yeah, that's yeah. so rude. Racy. Good word. All right. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay now. Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah, anyway, I watched All right, let's try to get this under control. I watched this movie. Um, are we just delving straight in? What, do you want to Should we have a little, around have the a little, little chitty chatty? No, tell us what. Runs? Josh, tell us what it's about. Give us a Oh, we're just going straight in. Oh, right. You want to chat about our weeks and days yeah, and yeah. stuff? Nah, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it later. Yeah, I'll give you a brief synopsis. We'll do it later, but then when we start doing it later, Tom will say, yeah, we're going off track. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> All right, let's go straight in then. Okay. I'm <laughs> done with this. <it>. Right. <laughs> okay. So, synopsis of kids. Um, Telly is a 16 year old is he I couldn't tell he's 17 he's 17. 17. Like he like 14 he's the same age I think as the, the girl. he's 17 he's a, he's a middle teenage boy it's not quite as bad if he's 17 I thought they were meant to be like 14 it's not quite it's as more bad. bad I think it's worse the bangs are like 12 year old does he? yeah, yeah. That girl is she tw- oh she's like 13 isn't 12. she well, that's why I presumed he was like 14 no, or 15 he's 16 or 17 yeah. he, he looks like older. fucking 16 year old. year old well anyway Telly is yeah he's a 16 year old 13 year old um uh kid New York kind of skater dude with all his skater dudes and he oh. loves taking virginité he's a spastic twat he is a bit spazzy that would be the best description of him he actually <laughs> comes across like a not to use un PC terms, but spastic. <laughs> <laughs> just to uh, um, 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 envelop, what the fuck? Just to <laughs> go on with that point. Uh, yeah. I said to Josh that he looks like McLovin. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. And he like said McLovin. he looks yes. like a guy in Deep. Brendan. Yeah, yeah, I thought <laughs> Brendan and McLovin. Yeah. yeah, if you mesh those together, but we always say Brendan looks like yeah, McLovin. Yeah, yeah. So. But he genuinely does. Shout out to color. Brendan. <laughs> yeah. He, you said he gen- I mean, I mean, no, Brendan he genuinely. Brendan skates too. If Brendan was Dude, a, And a, Brendan a loves real... taking virginity. No, if Brendan was a slimy cunt. But, yeah. but you're not Brendan. Um, yeah, that's. Basically, a synopsis. What? <laughs> There's a kid. <laughs> There's, a kid. There's, a kid yeah. Sally. There's a kid called Sally. It's Sally, Nelly, Felly, Jelly. What's his name? Um, Sally. One of his. Sally. One of his. Telly. Past... Telly. Fucking Telly. I thought it was Tally. It's... I thought it was Tully. It's something like that. One of his past sex conquests finds out she has AIDS. That's not a synopsis. From it's him. a plot giveaway, isn't it? Well, we... Yeah, um, we're talking about a film. That's. <laughs> That's not synopsis though. That's Full spoilers synopsis. on kids, by the Just way. Just what you had in mind for those commode style reviews. <laughs> well, that ain't right. You're wrong. <laughs> what, Tally, man? Tally, Willy. <laughs> I kind of thought everyone would just shut up and let Josh do <laughs> I really wish his... they would. <laughs> All right, everyone silence for two minutes. One of his past sex conquests finds out she has AIDS. Telly is the only boy that she's had sex with. So Telly must have AIDS. And the plot basically follows Telly trying to have sex with a... Younger girl, I think she's like 12 13. or younger, maybe. They say she's 13 in the film. I oh, do they? The, yeah. the That's why they say she's 12. Second yeah. girl's 13, first girl's 12. No, he says... He's talking about a random girl who's 12, but then actually he, when he starts talking about whatever this girl is, Christine, she's 13. Oh, you're not the yeah, yeah, Tina ticket, yeah. Either way. Either way, too young. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, the, the girl who finds out she has AIDS has to try and stop him before he can... Have sex. <laughs> and give his AIDS to her. Yeah, and it's just like a day in the life of mm. this this group of kids, these skaters in New York, and this uh, girl trying to track them down. I had a different feeling than what you just said. You want to explain, girl. please? One, when you say that she's tracking him down to stop him fucking on the girl, I didn't think she was doing that. She I know just, she was tracking him down. I don't think she was tracking him now and stop him fucking another girl. No, she knows. She knows that he's trying to fuck her. I know she does, but I don't think that's a motive whatsoever. Yeah, someone's. Yeah. She's, oh she's, no, 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 no! I think she she, does. she asks halfway through the film, she gets told. Oh, yeah. but I still don't. I don't think she's looking. Yeah, but for I think him she's regardless. just tracking him down to tell. Yeah, him yeah she's tracking him down to tell. Not, him. not like I've got to stop him. Yeah. 
And it's fine. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Telly. Tally. Tally. Willie. Yeah. Was he? I don't think there is a hundred percent certainty that he actually has HIV. Yeah. Well, she's the only person she's slept with. I understand that, but there's more ways to catch it. Okay, fine, yeah, but I feel like for the purpose of this movie... They're, just, kind may, of, they're just insinuating that he may have AIDS. We have, no one has... Uh, they don't, I think he has AIDS in this Oh, family. HIV. Whatever. We're supposed to su- assume that he was the one who gave well, her so HIV. So you think she's been like, injecting or something? Or no, I just feel as though uh, it, 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 is is pos- it, is it is possible that it isn't the case. <laughs> so we're arguing semantics already. Yeah. <laughs> what did you guys think? About this film? I'd, I'd seen it a few times uh, in my life. You'd seen it, the way you described it, it sounded like you'd seen it in kind of bits and pieces. Yeah, so uh, I'd remembered everything as it came along, yeah. more than... Uh, What's your opinion on it? I, I think the film is... Uh, I knew I kind of exaggerate how off-putting it is. It is very Oh, fuck it, that looks horrible. In terms of some of the scenes are pretty... Uh, mm. <laughs> but... Um, uh, I remember Tom saying to me that he, I'm going to spoil that. I'm sorry that your, his friends don't like the film or whatever, and I was quite surprised because I actually do quite like it. I think it's a nice film in terms of it shouldn't be nice, but I think it's nice. Uh, what do you mean it's nice? How the experience is shared by everyone in it, apart from one person, are actually I mean, they're, they're played out as really da- like daunting for for someone of that age and as. Um, disgusting at some point but if you're in the moment at that time a lot of it looked incredibly fun like the party looked fun but smoking weed yeah, fucking it's, great. Ca- it's kind of the feeling of uh, you're looking at it like that is disgusting but because you know that when you were that age yeah yeah. you're, you're looking at it from the outside it. like yeah don't do that and if your kid was doing that you'd be like well don't do that but everyone has had a moment where they, they act like that and do things like that that's why I thought it looked kind of fun to me so that's why I like the film you know, but do, do, there's a lot of shit in that film I despise. Do you terrible. think it's um, worthy of it? It's got quite a reputation as you know, controversial. Is, is it quite the f- offensive to some people? Clarification: Is it the first type of film of that ilk? If so, I can understand what it getting. Of yeah. if, what it, ilk? Is it the first kind of like shock value teen coming of age thing, or is it? Is, it, is there a lot of them? Is, is, is there a film similar to that that came out before it? Well, if it's revolution, not revolution, if it's the first on the list, of, it gets points. In terms of first. showing, um, you know, kids, like genuine kids being this kind of horrible and violent and like disgusting. Perverted. You kind of get the impression that a guy has just gone and filmed some kids yeah. Yeah. shagging. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I think that's that's a big reason why people get so kind of offended by it is because it does feel so real and the only the only other film that i can kind of think of is like something like lord of the flies mm-hmm. where it's like it is still kids kind of yeah. being violent uh, and... i definitely had seen film a film similar to it i think that king came out after i can't remember the name forgive me but i don't i don't think that film is as um oh we're edgy or whatever as it back is very, it thinks a lot of itself. That film, that film, well, definitely kids. kids makes itself, it wanks itself off. Yeah, yeah. So basically, <laughs> you <laughs> mentioned what my friend said about it, mm-hmm. and so they, they basically said um, they thought it was a bit try hardy, and they basically they really didn't like it. They said it's lame, but and the reasons were that it's kind of try hardy to it's trying to be like this really shocking film, but it ends up, up coming out kind of boring. And basically, I can't, I don't really disagree with them. I mean, I don't really agree with them because I don't think it's boring. No. I think it's interesting. But yeah. I definitely see why they would think it's kind of try-hardy. But I kind of think that's the same with any movie that's, tr- that's trying to be shocking. I don't they even always, it always comes across as being a bit like, oh, come on, like this is a bit ridiculous. You're just trying to... You know, you're really just trying to make this as shocking and, and depraved and disgusting as possible. It didn't really, really feel like a tr- a true story or a true experience or anything to me. It didn't. No. See, it, it feels to me, it doesn't even feel like it's um, like deliberately trying to be kind of provocative and like. I think the first half hour of the film is. No, I'd say it's I really the hated the first half hour of the film. Like it opens up with the the, the Tully Tally Willy Wally making out with that girl, yeah, that and it's the most like. Either these people have never made out before and they don't know how to kiss and they're kissing on camera, or it's like 
make it look as ridiculous and you're trying to fit your head it's inside fully that like head. putting his lips inside yeah, that and mouth and it's so like a mouth wide open and yeah. it's like disgusting yeah. and it goes on for ages yeah. and the noises it's like one of those like like hip hop interludes where someone's getting their dick sucked or something uh, yeah. Yeah. and then it goes straight from that to the the girls and the guys like separate like a Grease-esque yeah, thing yeah, yeah. but they're just talking <laughs> yeah. about like Sucking tits and yeah. like fingering, getting railed. And, but it's like, like isn't that it. how kids talk? No, yeah, yeah, I yeah. never but talk. It depends like on what age. Like, if not, a, like, not a, like. You tell you have this. We like had a conversation just like that after watching this film. You're like twenty two, though. Like, uh, not <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're meant to be fucking adults. Listen, yeah, I, I that's definitely the had. Point. It is. It's, it seems like they're talking like adults. When they're kids, they are way past their age, aren't they? But I feel like that's a part, of, a strong part of the movie is that all these kids the are, of... have like grown up too fast because of their environment. Yeah, and it's like it is shocking the first half hour, and I think it's like the bits with those girls talking. Surely that's meant to be a bit shocking, like straight in with these girls that look like fifteen. Yeah, all I guess, talking about yeah. like getting their tits sucked and fucking and it's meant it is yeah like it is shocking, but. Like I don't know. Like for me personally, it feels like real. Like that is what, like fifteen year old. That's what you did when you were fifteen. <sighs> okay, but that's, yeah, that's what that's what, what people did. That's, it that's felt what... very over the top to me. Really? It did feel like an episode of Skins. In that's sense. Not, that's how I, I don't think it did. Like you know, she was, she was, Skins she... feels more try hardy to me. <laughs> no, she was saying stuff like one of the one, was it Rosario. She was saying stuff like. Um, you like he fucked me in the ass and shit at some point, or yeah. something. and he's like, "She's fifteen, dude." I don't, I didn't have a conversation like that. Fifteen, like, yeah. who is having conversations? Yeah, like yeah, that? I was like, "You're a bunch of slags." But <laughs> I mean, but they're all every fucking person in that yeah, movie everyone, is a slag. And then the bit, you know, yeah. where they go to that, uh, she goes to that like nightclub, and it's like a nightclub, and there's people shagging in it, but it's all filled with like fifteen year olds. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck is this? I mean, it's literally an episode of Skins. Yeah, they're it? like in a toilet, like somehow a toilet's incorporated into the rest of the bar, like it's all one big room or something. Yeah, think... the urinals were just sort of like behind a sly wall yeah. next to the bar. Uh, I, don't really, uh... I don't think Skins is try hard at all. I think what? Skins is definitely try hard. The most... what, what teenager what do you know happened? that has had that that kind of experience? As who? Yeah, you go to parties and yeah, you take drugs and yeah. you get drunk. And you but fight. you don't go to like fucking manhole raves in like the docks no, of Bristol not. or like you know spends an hour of your life dancing on top of some fucking estate mm. and like some tower block because you're gay and you need to come to terms <laughs> with telling yeah. your father you know it's not it's definitely try hard it's ridiculous mm. but uh, back to kids uh, yeah I really didn't enjoy the first like half hour then the bit then there's so all the bit like the bit at the start, then the bit where they're talking about shagging and stuff, and the bit where they go to the hospital and find out she has AIDS. Like, I wasn't, didn't enjoy it, wasn't interested. And then the bit where they go to the skate park, I was like, ah, oh, this looks fun. And then they, like, beat the shit out of that guy. And I'm like, <laughs> you guys are fucking twats. I hate both of you. <laughs> go fucking get AIDS. I don't, <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to like any... I don't think you're really supposed to empathise with just the horrible. skaters. It's just It's a horrible experience. And then there's that <laughs> well, guy... Say that, but you loved the guy. Yeah, they're fucking... Th- <laughs> until the end. But, um, I don't know. I kind of did to him. I liked his style. He was, he was an asshole, but, like, kind of a likeable one. Um... Uh, I thought he was a prick. I thought this, they were all pricks. This film reminds me of two films, but two t- completely different reasons. One, Troy. Troy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Always Troy. One, it reminds me of Boys in the Hood, and two, it reminds me of uh, Menace to Society. Boys two different. Hood. Boys in the Hood is, is a different... It, it tackles the similar issues differently, in my opinion. And Menace to Society is very similar. In my, uh, but much, much more uh, gruesome. Boys in the Hood is the one with Ice Cube, right? Ice Cube and Cuba Gooding Jr. and Lawrence Fishburne. Cuba. Yeah, yeah. I think Kids is... Um, um, it's good. I like it. I, I, really, think... I, I really, really like how the film looks. Yeah, I really like all the kind of claustrophobic shots and lots of sort of zoom close-ups. It's very kind of documentary style, like grainy gritty it's interesting how you can make a wide angle not a wide angle you can, you can take a, a shot of something far away so there's loads of stuff in the shot 
but still make it seem like there isn't that much like you, you're still enclosed in a tiny space even though you've got a lot on the camera it's fucking weird I got, I got that when they were doing yeah. stuff in like New York and just like the only the only shit. kind of real like wide sparse shot is when they're walking down the middle of the like highway yeah I like that they actually got someone who all the kids were they kind of felt like the kids were just off the street you know they actually yeah. got kind of legit no one's opposed well, to were there I read some uh I was reading something about it, and apparently, like, you know that scene with the kids, the four kids that are like topless on that sofa smoking the like joint. Apparently, they were all just four kids that just showed up, like they were skate kids or whatever. They just showed up, and then the director was like, "Oh yeah, I'll put you in the movie or whatever." Just sit cool. on his sofa. So and then they... he was like, oh, "It might be on real weed. I don't know." <laughs> and and then, like everyone was annoyed at him for like letting kids smoke weed and just film and shit you know? like that. But that was it's like it was just he's there with a camera and these people turn up and he's like, "Yeah, all right, sure, be in it." But I like I thought that shot that was a really was, good scene. Though. Yeah, yeah that, that was my favorite scene. That scene was so well done mm. because it was just like we were sitting there watching him and like, "How the fuck are these kids so good <laughs> at acting right, like?" Yeah. Kids who smoke weed and just chat shit to each and other. And they, you know? they all look so natural holding the joint. And they were all <laughs> so ridiculous. fucking blazed. And I'm like, what child actor knows what it's like to be that <laughs> blazed, you know? So I thought that was kind of good. It was, it was real, wasn't it? You can see how that director got all shit. Real. Because, like, uh, you know, there's a couple of scenes in there that's like, well, I mean, okay. Like when that kid, you know the little kid that they were, when they were in the kitchen, the guy was like, oh, who are you fucking to that kid? Yeah. Everything yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Then later on, he's just on the sofa getting his nipples like licked yeah, or whatever. So I'm like, dude, you're like 10. Don't, don't, yeah, put, that on my film, film. don't put that on my TV, right. please. The scene like at the start where he's with that girl, I'm like, I swear I'm just watching two like 15 year olds go at it. And then she like takes her bra off and I'm like, I don't ever see her boobs or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure she was over eighteen. Well, you have to be. If you go on the, uh, if you, you go on the like the Rotten Tomatoes page, it's like it's it's got like a forty nine percent. Yeah, it's got really bad. <laughs> loads of the reviews are just child porn, child porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I felt like when I was watching it. Though. I mean, I it's like, disgusting. Jesus, come on. Um, especially when I mean the, the, the last scene is just disgusting. I had a hard time yeah, watching man. that. Yeah, he shit. was like folding her up yeah. in a ball. He was <laughs> just like I, I'm like no. I'm so, out of here. so this is and this, that went you on mean, for way too long. You mean the well. scene where Casper um, rapes the unconscious Jenny, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if he's gonna get AIDS. Why well, I probably won't because I mean it's, it's not as if well you I, could just get it that easy. Yeah, no, it's I not, mean it's not, it's not easy to get. If you want to look at the it? film from no. like a really you know true real world point of view, it's like. Like, okay, the chances of him actually getting AIDS from that sexual encounter are probably quite low. Yeah. But, you know, it's a movie. It's supposed yeah. to be like, Caspi doesn't know she has AIDS. She's unconscious and can't tell him. So he's raised her disgusting. and he gets his comeuppance. Like, his instant karma is the fact that he's got AIDS. So he has like a chance of getting AIDS or whatever, you know, like. And I think like for, the, a... for the sake of the movie, you're supposed oh, to be also like, one, okay, he's now. Infected. One thing I thought was try hard. Okay. It's when, was it Rosario Dawson? Is that her name? Yeah. Who's and that? The, the, her friend, Jenny's friend, which she goes to the clinic with. The one that doesn't have AIDS. Yeah. Who slept with loads of people. She slept with loads of people, doesn't have anything. Cuts. And she slept with one person and just so happens to get HIV. I know that happens and I understand what you're trying to say there. slept with but, Because he said, like, oh my God, just, you know, gotta, you got to be careful because you don't know. Like, okay, we know that. Don't, I just didn't like that. That was a bit in your face. Take those that was pamphlets. a bit too in your face. Like, Literally as soon as... Teddy said, like, the f- I think it's like when the first he, he has like this internal monologue going on, or narrator kind of star thing going on at the beginning when he's like, I love virgins, man, no diseases, uh, so tight, and all that. And I'm like, as soon as he said no diseases, I was like, oh, okay, so this film's about HIV. Wait, so if he only fucks v- virgins, how has he got HIV? He hasn't only fucked virgins, oh, he just fuck. really likes fucking virgins. Yes. Yeah, no, uh, most of the film made me feel pretty uncomfortable. <sighs> I didn't really... I, there were bits of it I did like. Like, the kids smoking and stuff when they're at a party or when they're skating, it's like, ah, oh, this is cool. Mm. But then there's all this fucking horrible shit going on, which I guess that's the point of the film. Mm. Kids do horrible shit. But then I just didn't really know. I don't think kids do horrible shit at this age, that, that, that age. They do it, like, two years ago when we was at uni, like, in the middle of uni. They do it then. They do stupid shit then. But not that fucking horrible Or still. even before that, college. They do stupid things then. When they've left school. Not I've got, 15. I don't know. I think they could have they could have done a day in the life of these New York kids or whatever. 
and they didn't they, they wouldn't have had to make it so outrageous and so shocking and they could have still made like a good film yeah like um kid Hood, right it's the same sort of style of movie yeah it's just a day in the life and there's this kind yeah. of background plot that's, and that's, that's it seems way less fucked up yeah right? but, i mean but it is like but, i mean the point is that it's fucked up you know? but no but it's like it is kind of fucked up because someone dies and someone commits suicide and stuff like that but it definitely feels like more real issues and it's more relatable than just like being a shout of some random guy in a park and then everyone's doing drugs and has AIDS it's like this is a bit over the no, top it's the most same message it does seem oh, real it message. definitely seems real but it's just nasty and I get like oh I guess it's a good film because it's maybe it is a good film but I don't like it I wouldn't want to watch that film again really well I think uh, I can see why it's got such a low Rotten Tomato score but the IMDB score is higher like Cause I'd be interested one of those... to know what the um, you know there's like the critic score and the audience score. Yeah, yeah. I imagine the critic score is high and the audience score is low. The critic score is low. Is it? Yeah. That because you were talking about Charlie. Yeah, I'm but I would have thought reviews. the audience is the one. Yeah, being, like, that, the that, audience wouldn't be able yeah, to yeah. look past the child porn to see the actual film or whatever, and critics would be like, "Oh, but the shots are so like, beautiful." It's like clerks. But fucking horrible. <laughs> right? What an American indie film. You know how Clerks, shot, Clerks is really good and it's just a day in life for these guys and they're pretty cool guys. But they don't all have AIDS and rape people and <laughs> like put cave people skulls in with skateboards and stuff. I, I take that point on. I think it's like, you know, when you were just mentioning Kidderhood, they're both giving the message you fuck around, you might get bit in the ass. But. I mean, that's exactly the message of both of them. If you fuck around, you might get a bit, okay. But one does it in such a nicer way. And that's what the people watching films often want. They don't want to be sat there like, oh, why am I watching this? You can't always have what you want to Oh, of course. And the, only, the only real, like, redeemable character in kids is, uh, what's she called, Jenny? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, her. yeah, she's just the normal... De- like, when they're talking about all that fucked up sex stuff at the beginning with all the girls and that's really... Like, really fuck all the other girls are like, oh yeah, when you're getting fucked from behind and, and your tits yeah. are slapping all over and they're proper slags and she's there just like, oh yeah, yeah. And it's like, really, all about foreplay. Yeah, it's really bait that she doesn't, yeah. she's not really comfortable in the situation because she's not no, foreplay is fucking good. slag. I would like to see a film that is like the skateboardy stuff and the party stuff that you see in other films but still in that like kind of clerksy style without all the fucking horrible shit. But I get that the point of the film is the horrible shit. Mm. But I'd like to see a film that was still having smoking weed and whatever, but without that yeah. horrible element that kids has. Well, like, cl- Clerks is kind of like it's a, just a comedy, right? right isn't gross it? Gross sex. Yeah, like, but the, so yeah, you, know, you could you could take that style of like a day in the life. It wouldn't have to be a comedy, like. Well, not like a comedy in essence of like people cracking jokes, but like just funny characters, you know, just normal, real people, but situations are kind of funny and. Yeah, I'm not even that. Stuff. Like literally, just I don't know, there'll be some storyline over the top, I guess. But <laughs> I liked the if you could like boil it down to like the, the I could take about twenty minutes from that film that I really enjoyed, and the rest like it's just so like grotty. It does a it's like it's pretty effective in making that kind of atmosphere, though. Yeah. Definitely. Like, that's very well done. My, like, everyone's so sweaty all the time. My Gross. least favourite scene. <laughs> Especially Jenny when she's walking around. Yeah. Like, Dragged up. Yeah, like, absolutely fucking like frazzled, isn't she? Yeah, she's just, and yeah. she's, like, walking. It's like she's asleep, but she's walking around. And she, yeah, and she's, like, her eyes half closed and her mouth just going, like, oh, so yeah, like, you have to, like, ten drinks. Yeah. I think she knows that she knows, <laughs> like, she's when, she, when she wakes up, do you reckon she'll even know she got fucked or no? Probably not because she's pretty out of it. Yeah, she? but and then I swear at one point you heard her be like, "Nah." At one, at one point you heard yeah, her like, "Don't do that," thing, and I'm yeah. like, "Dude, this is so." Yeah, but she, she she's won't so it. fucked though. Like, yeah. you don't know. Um, I mean, there's all like, there's all the like naked kids like on the floor. Yeah, there's like, one next to Molly's fucking. This is corpses, that's disgusting, by the way. I know that you might be like, "That's a cool shot." It is. But it's disgusting. It's, it's gross. fucking next to a little boy. What? Yeah. It's gross. What? The director goes, is... "Yeah, I'll do this. This is well, good." It is like kind of. Do you mean more kind di- of really clever a, though? Isn't a it? director who wants to make a disgusting film yeah. does that. You know, then like, he needs to sort his fucking priority. He doesn't want it to be nice. That rape. He wants Listen, it to be really seen, uncomfortable. I have seen shit. films with a rape in. 
that are less off-putting than, than this. Well, maybe rape shouldn't be less yeah, off-putting. What? I've seen films with rape scene that are far worse than that. No, so. sorry, that's what, yeah, that's what I meant to say. I meant to say that there are films with rapes that are worse than that that don't put me off as much as this film. <laughs> So, Stop being put on so race. Strange oh, things. Here. <laughs> I don't know. I thought. Did you think really it was more or less off putting than like um, at the end of This Is England when? Lot of oh, with Lot. Like oh my god. Oh, that. Oh, like, that is horrible. God. I think. I think. This Wait, is Lol England is like that. Yeah. But Lol doesn't get raped. No, it's Lol's she, mate. Well, she, 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 yeah, attempted rape. Lol's mate. Lol's mate bit is worse raped. than Lol getting raped. I think. Oh, that then is Lol as well. Like that's just, but just, oh, rapes in films. Is this the TV show? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that was fucked up. I remember when that came out, and the next day in school, everyone come in in the morning, and everyone's like, oh. Everyone was oh, so I angry. Was that up. music over the top of yeah. it. <laughs> What's that film where the woman gets raped on a pinball machine? Oh, Jodie Foster gets raped. Um, maybe. Can't remember. That's what, a, that's can't a, remember what the film is. Because I probably movie. turned off after that scene. But that's pretty horrible. <laughs> she was uh, pretty provocative in that film. Not that she provoked the rape. She shouldn't have provoked the rape. I'm just saying. <laughs> <my God. laughs> no, 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 that's no, no, not no. what I'm Stop saying. Stop victim blaming. <laughs> Fuck you. I thought she was gonna. No, I was watching that film. I thought she was gonna have sex with one of the dudes in the bar. Then I was like, whoa, this is gonna be. That, that's just so fucked up because it's like in a bar. There's so many of them. Mm. No one's noticing what's going on either. How many dudes are open there? Isn't it like three? Two. No, it? there's like six. No. There's loads of them. Oh, like the thing is, I've never seen the movie, but I've seen the South Park reference with Indiana Jones yeah. getting raped. No, by. there's, there's like... <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That guy in uh, Kids so, that they telly. go to a swimming pool with, and Black he's got man. that really like squished he's up face. such a weird face. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck is that about? So I was, I was going to say earlier, my least favourite scene, worse than the actual rape scene, was that swimming pool scene when that guy with the squished up face is getting really like aggressive with yeah. the when girls and being like, his will like no, yeah. cause it's kind of funny then and then they get in the pool and he's just like but that's I just, legit I just want like, to fucking kiss you up. Yeah, and, teenage boys and that fucks yeah. me up more than yeah. like the sort of outrageousness of the rest of the movie because yeah, that's like you can totally imagine guys like what? just dickhead that guys that could have gone somewhere like nasty yeah but like dickhead guys just like forcing themselves on women by just saying oh come on come on come on until they basically like come on you say i don't know stop saying no or whatever and that is just yeah. that's that yeah. is really dirty that was yeah. and that's real that's like more real to me than some weird like unconscious rape well, on a I sofa mean, that does happen i mean it happens well. too but like i can see that i don't know something about it just was really yeah, upsetting yeah, yeah. more so than but any, the other stuff does that kind of you know casper does he fuck anyone at all like, I don't if I, someone that seem, seemingly to me someone that gets a lot of sex doesn't need to rape a girl uh, unconscious at a party I understand yeah, all they care about is sex yeah they're just like randy teenagers and will do anything for sex it's not it's, it's not like you know he's not getting loads of sex because he's a Casanova he's getting loads of sex because he's just fucking like kind of a creep mm-hmm. And he's fucking anything, oh, and like staring the, um, at his you, friend's mum's. You know when he was talking, Telly was saying stuff like, um, "It's like oh, when I saw a, I don't know." He, he, said, he said he saw a little girl doing something when he was with her, and he was like, "I just wanted." To. He, no, he was looking at a little girl over she, the road. That's and he was the like, girl. Like, oh, or something. That's the when he's talking that story when he's at that street party, and the girl's hand is sank out, and she gets it on her shirt. She's eating, she's eating a watermelon. She's or eating yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the girl yeah. that he fucks at the end. Ah, but in that story, she was twelve. Which is why where we're getting this confusion from. That was disgusting. That was Fine. very disgusting. Uh, well, the, the girl at the beginning, I think is hot, okay? Because I know that she wasn't what age she was. That you can't, yeah, but she looks but like, she got, but, so young. I know, but you're not going to put a girl on screen if you're underage. So I knew that okay she was overrated. Because no, no, okay he's got she's kids that are like 12 smoking They're smoking weed. weed. They're not engaging it. They're, they're smoking weed that you could say maybe it's weed maybe it's not they're not fucking sucking some dude off are they like you know like, but she weren't sucking a dude oh, off they, you know, she's got her tits out she doesn't get her nips yeah, out yeah nips aren't out oh, I can see fucking what meat what age is it legal you to can get see nips meat. out I can see meat I can see your meat right now right. Meat. you know like boob meat boob meat beet beetroot you can see her beets you can see her beetroot Josh what did you think of it why did you make us watch it <laughs> okay, why did you make us watch it Josh uh, because I thought it would generate interesting chat. Yeah, like, like I'm not. I'm not saying. Like I feel like I kind of. I feel kind of similarly to you, Danny. Like mm. I don't really like this film, but 
I do find it quite intriguing. It's got that Passion of the Christ factor. Like, yeah. I'm not watching that I mean, yet, I kind of... But, I guess it was good. I've watched that three times. No, no, seen it. Yeah, well, you like Live League, so... I don't like it enough to ever watch it again. Go on, sorry, Josh. Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I do... I like aspects of the film, like how it's shot, and I think the soundtrack's really, really good. Yeah, true. And I like the kind of nihilism of it all. But, yeah, it is a fairly t- t- hard watch. <laughs> but that's what, like, I, I kind of, yeah, I wanted you guys to kind of... You wanted to put it through something. Yeah. yeah see what it. you guys react, see how you I, react. I, I, I like that. But so then it turns out watch. that you all, well, you've already seen it in bits and pieces. Tom had read the Wikipedia. No, no, Tom, no that, Danny had read the Wikipedia. I'd seen, seen clips. I'd seen the skateboarding getting being obscene because I think it got posted on like a uh, skateboarding memes Instagram account that I follow or something like that. I, I thought, kill that guy. I thought that was pretty interesting because I didn't realise kind of like how into pop culture it was. I'm pretty sure, well, I think I must have seen it on either a list of cult films or a list of coming of age films. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you love those. And then both. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> cult like, coming of this age. This is your dream films, movie. Why? Why then didn't I you read like the it? Wikipedia article and thought well, that sounds fucking horrible. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> it was a bit of a coming of age. Uh, film. Uh, <laughs> coming of coming underage. of coming of AIDS film. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, oh shit. I thought it was like the uh, coming of age. Afterwards, I was like, <laughs> "Shit!" I thought hot dogs was like a bit too much, but ooh, that was. Yeah, but racy. I mean, like hot dogs is just horrible, gratuitous nudity. Yeah, really misogynistic. <laughs> any opportunity that they can. Hot dogs is like disgusting, but they don't. They they. This film. This is like. There's not even. Horrible. There's not even much nudity in it. It's just. Nasty, was suggested yeah. was. whereas hot dogs is like yeah let's put in some more tapes <laughs> <laughs> get a minute yeah work t-shirt party and, okay, that so bit was the worst that, that went horrible. t-shirt contest with a bunch of like rednecks <laughs> okay so he's checking into a motel how should the motel uh, teller be dressed yeah. in nothing <laughs> oh okay good well, of course she's just been getting eaten out in a hot tub yeah. out the bar maybe my uh, mockumentary and she's not gonna be hot dogs <laughs> ghost adventure <laughs> Yeah, Danny, Danny the is adventures of in the process of uh, producing a a mockumentary. <laughs> well, no, a documentary. Documentary, a documentary yeah. yeah. <laughs> of uh, people, you don't know them, but you'll get to know them in the documentary. <laughs> so watch out for that on the Ooh. YouTube channel. Yeah, mm-hmm. coming out this summer, hopefully. Yeah, Maybe we should put together some kind of trailer or something. Well, I will once it's filmed. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> I'm actually super psyched. Yeah, it'll be good. Not the any of us are involved. It's not Danny's. It's just to see it. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. me. I went on an experience. <laughs> Wait, Far is away. it you or is it? Uh, well, I know the guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a friend. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> should right. we... Uh, Josh? Should we rate this film or we'll talk about it more? Rape this film? Oh! <laughs> oh <laughs> what Freud raping out of 10 does oh. it get? Dating <laughs> Dr. Freud. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Dr. Freud, please. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I think we should rate this film out of 10. I would give it nothing. No, um, I'll give it. It's a hard one to rate. Yeah, wait, what did you give uh, Stir Crazy 0.5 out of 10? <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half, I think. No, it was no, like 0.5. Oh, yeah, I, gave Sorry. It, I gave it a 3.5. Uh, I'll give this one. <laughs> Sorry, it's a ten. Wait, 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 actually, actually, wait, wait, wait. Joke, can it? Not point five out of ten. <laughs> it's cheap. Yeah, you could watch the worst movie in the world, and you wouldn't give it not point five out of ten. <laughs> well, it's honest, honest to his, you honest say? himself. Um, yeah, before we before we give it a max out of ten, favorite scene. <laughs> T. If you oh, you know what bit I wanted to talk about, actually. In the kitchen, when he's in the morning. I don't know why, I love it. I love Wait, which oh, Drinking out of those lager bottles. Because I, I love doing that. If I've, like, I've been wasted that before, I'll get up and just drink shit. Out of the fucking old filth. Um, backwash. I like that. And, then, and I like the right. kids with the weed. All right. Tom? Favourite scene? Favourite scene. Um, probably when they... Like, it would have been when they kind of... After the intro, and they're kind of walking around... No. 
when they go to the park and like meet all their skater friends and stuff and there's all, the whole crew there and they're like, saying the hello down. and they and they're like smoking weed and then up until the beat down even the beat down I thought what like, about the uh, that the, whole like, thing. oh yeah that's kind of shit but I mean like yeah but whatever, I thought like, that, that I think guy, it was a good scene the gay yeah, guy that they're heckling the white one Looked like he should have been in like the Red Hot Chili Peppers or something yeah. in the 80s. The it? guy with the shape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like he was really big and muscly and he had like an <laughs> Anthony Kiedis style look. I was saying, he could have just nutted them all. Come on, what, what? Bah, nutted them. Picked up the black guy that was on the floor. Uh, battered them all. That, that, that black guy on the floor was fucking hench as well though. And he got Oh yeah, but he was down. he was like, he was, what's the word? Sucker punch, it's fine. No, it, yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, uh, what? Everything. I was just <laughs> waiting for them to stop talking. Yep. Uh, yeah, probably the kids smoking weed. I did like the skating bit up until the beatdown. I did not enjoy the beatdown. But you know what I wanted to say? One scene in that skating bit, you know where they're rolling that uh, blunt? <laughs> yeah, and he yeah. cracks the cigar. He cracks the cigar. And God, then he nice. fucking, he's putting like that whole thing in his mouth when he's rolling it. He's like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, But that oh. was really, that was it's really like, cool. Because I thought oh. that was like, they've literally gone to that park and got some guy who can roll sick, like, yeah, roll blunts and exactly got him to do it. Really well. But then, and then he like dries it with a lighter. I'm like, if I had something with like, Dry spit all over it. I would not be yeah, wanting most, to go near it. Fucking dry spit all over the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let alone put that thing in your mouth. If you just sniff that thing, it must fucking stink. Most you know, if you like, it yeah. is nice when he cracks it. It's thanks yeah, of the good. fucking dank sense, Amelia. Yeah, but you know, if you've like, if you haven't uh, brushed your teeth in a while and you like lick something and then smell your spit. It's fucking yeah, yeah. It's gross. Have you ever scraped the back? Bad. You ever scraped the back of your tongue with a spoon and then smell it? No, no. That is bad. <laughs> Why would I do that? You ever, yeah. uh, well, you ever shoved a spoon up your ass and, <laughs> and licked it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! No, no, no. That tastes like shit. Uh, <laughs> said it before. If you get a, if you get um, floss and floss the back of your teeth and then smell that smells disgusting. Fucking, yeah, well, that's what it made me think of. Like that must fucking stick. Ain't putting that in my mouth. Gross. That was your worst thing. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, the kids smoking the joint yeah, because it's funny. And it's like still that kind of uh, like at a party, nice to watch. It's the only scene where nothing fucking disgusting <laughs> is happening. I guess the disgusting thing is they're twelve year old smoking weed, but it kind of seems innocent in a way. They look you know younger than twelve. You know what's gross when uh, when Teddy's mum is like breastfeeding. Yeah. And then Casper's uh, like, yo, your, your mum got kids. Kids, man. So that's good. That's like she's like breastfeeding and that's smoking like a super cigarette. Super bad. Where. Um, like uh, Michael Sarah's mom's got those huge tits. Yeah. And then, and then oh, he's what? like, oh, hello. Jonah Hill. <laughs> Jonah Hill. Yeah. Can't believe you got to suck on them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, they should have just done it like Superbad. It's, just, it's the exact same movie, but yeah. like cool. Superbad's but, like the innocent kid. Superbad's the super awkward, like nerdy guy version of it. Though. Yeah, yeah, instead of the fucking uh, disgusting fucking Randy rapist version. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Whoops. Sorry. Should we rate it? Let's rate the film. T, take us off if you please. For its ability to make me feel both entertained and sick at the same time. Sick is in throwing up, not as in sick. sick. <laughs> Fucking rad, bro. Uh, not gnarly, just sick. Righteous. Um, I'll give it uh, 6.5. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much bang on what I was gonna uh, rate it. Um, I have, like purely because I feel like it's pretty try hardy. It kind of tries to tackle some tough subjects, but it just ends up trying to. It kind of gives that up to instead, just try and shock everyone. So I don't think it's that great. Probably like a six out of ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. I give it five and a half. For what reasons, Danny? <laughs> uh, didn't like it that much. <laughs> the reason, well, the reasons, critique. all those reasons I just said in the last half hour you is why I'm giving it this rating. Sum up. Uh, liked a few scenes. Most of it made me feel horrible, and I found it disgusting. Which I guess cause you could argue that makes it a good film, but not for me. Okay, so it's gone down hit in order. Nice. I'd probably give it a. I'd probably go a bit higher. I'd probably give it a seven. But you always are generous with your film. Ideas. Well, I don't know. I can appreciate a film that you know effectively makes me feel disgusting and gross. Is that included in mine? Yeah. Okay. Way to give away the magic. <laughs> you should. Have, I thought you were going to figure that out on your head, Josh. Yeah. So overall, the Josh, official film, yeah. Thursday Film Club score for kids is. 
You can't remember it. 6.25. Which we will generally round up, don't we? 6.3. 6.3. Put that on a board. Boop, beep, 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 beep. We've got Ding. a computer board now. Fuck it Oh, we got a computer board now. Yep. Beep, when beep, did we get that? Uh, I bought it the other day. Oh, really? Mm. I might add that out. into the, uh, you know, the, the banner that I'm making. Might put a little uh, leaderboard at the corner. What change it update it every I won't week. ever update it, <laughs> but that's what it was at the time. Fair enough. Be a nice little addition. Mm. Do you remember them all? <laughs> no, I'll make it up. Yeah, fair enough. Matrix, 10 out of 10. Could have listen to the bodies. Well, I'm not fucking doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Who fucking wants to listen to that? Nobody. <laughs> See our views on the last pod. Like, obviously One nobody. view on the last pod. Yeah, and it was probably Tom checking here that bloke. <laughs> the thing is, though, the oh. other pods have got actual consistent views. You know, with 20 to 30. Well, between 20 down here, let's say. Consistently like 20 to 30. So I don't mind. Honestly. I know, like, or well, maybe we should have built up a viewership by now, but who wants to watch Stir Crazy yeah. or Weekend or... We don't blame you guys. King of the Fairies podcast. We don't blame you guys for not watching, but to those who did, I hope you enjoyed that discussion of kids. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hope someone makes it this far in. If you did, comment and say, I made it that far in. And if you're watching... Because that'll make my day. And yeah, this day. Danny's getting a bit uh, pessimistic about this whole podcast thing, so we need something to motivate him and keep him going, you know? So, should we do my quiz? Let's do his it's quiz. time for Danny's quiz. I'm going for a piss. Oh. Did we do a piss? Is the answer in our toilet? Yes. Yeah! Oh, Woo! one point to tea. Woo! I don't know, fingering that. Really? That's what I said to her. Gross to you. I can't believe the comments you made during that discussion. I made them. Now deal with it, cunt. Nah, that's nah, nah, what it is. You just fucking wish you lived in fucking I actually skins don't. Or Anyone um, watching now, um, listening. welcome to the... Yeah, everyone listening now, welcome, welcome to, to the, the second uh, part. Interval. Well, interval. welcome to the interval to the second part. Yeah, take a minute, go make a cup of tea, have a piss, just like Danny. We'll be here. Anyone okay. maybe have a little uh, little smoke. Anyone that's been watching the reactions recently will know we are Quiz! sick. Oh. Sounds like uh, Danny's back. Danny's back. Oh, he's back. He's back. Uh, I just need to crack a beer. Oh, yeah, uh, he's, he's, uh, not, right. he's not quite back. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, he is back. Thanks for watching our reactions, everyone. The uh, the theme of this quiz is action movie one liners. Ooh, Ooh. spicy. That's your hope. There's a diehard question. Well, I didn't want to make them too obvious, so... Well, yeah, actually, good. nine of them I just took from a list of best one-liners. <laughs> and one of them was, I heard it in a podcast, and it was the reason I wanted to make the quiz. So, the first one's easy. Uh, let's say just shout it out. You're working as a team What are you here. doing? Are you just reading out a quote? <laughs> I'm going to say the quote, and I want to know the actor... And then the film it's from also. And You're working as a team okay. to get it, right? <sighs> The first one, and um, I'll just read it out, and then if you don't get it, I'll do an impression then. Okay. The first one, <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. Danny Glover in uh, Lethal Weapon? No, Lethal Weapon. Uh, um, Danny Alien Glover in um, Saw? Alien? Danny Glover in Lethal Weapon? Danny Glover in Saw? Is it Lethal Weapon? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. I don't know. Uh, actually, Lethal Weapon 2 Can we hear the was impression? the one. I'm too old for this shit. Damn. All right. Good. Here's yeah. the next one. I am the law. Dreads. Dreads. And well, that's not the actor, is it? Need the actor. Uh, Sylvester Stallone. Judge Dredd. Is... I thought Dredd was Arnie. You know, I didn't know that. You're an idiot. Oh, and that is correct. Here's my impression. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> the law. I am the law. <laughs> I am the law. Uh, is he a samurai then? Can, no, you, <laughs> can you do an impression of the Carl Urban Dredd? Hello. Yeah. That's yeah cool. that's nice. Cool. <laughs> right. Here's the next one. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. The world and I'm is. all out of bubblegum. Rowdy Roddy Piper in They Live. That's correct. Do you want to hear my impression? Yes, please. I have come here to chew bubblegum <laughs> and kick ass. <laughs> Whoa, oh, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yeah. I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's one. You know how I said I'll kill you last? I lied. Arnold Schwarzenegger. In. Um. Oh, fuck. 
Predator. Good. Josh knows. Boss baby. No, 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 I know this. Is it in Kindergarten Cop? No. <laughs> Josh? Uh, it's Commander, right? You know how I said I'll kill you last? <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Sounds like a computer boot. Yeah. There computer. were two Man. different voices. <laughs> Alright, here's the next one. I think you'll struggle more with this one. I ain't got time to bleed. I ain't got time, ain't to, got bleed. time to bleed. Um, well, it's from Predator. Is yeah, it? it is from Predator. I've never but seen Predator. what is the uh, actor's which name? Which one is it? Which character is it's it? It's one of the black guys. <laughs> yeah. The, it, yeah it's, it's not the, the, the big hench one. It's the more chubby one. No, it's not. It's the white guy. Isn't it the like kind of it's the, like, it's the Native like, American? It's the guy, like super American guy with the handlebar mustache. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who that is. He's got pretty long hair. I don't know. I don't well, know. you're you're right. It is that guy, the one that spits the yeah. tobacco shit. His name's Jesse Ventura. Oh, oh Jesse oh, Ventura. Of course, you may have known. Wrestler. All right, here's the next one. Is he a wrestler? Mm-hmm. And ex uh, governor of California or something. That's Not tough. California. No, <laughs> ex governor of one American state. Right, here's the next one. I feel the need. The, the need, need for speed. speed. He's in the WWE Hall of Fame, by the way. Um, I don't know. That's Top Gun. Oh, Tom Cruise. Tom. Correct. Tom Cruise, Top Gun. Right, here's the one. Danger Zone. That I had never heard because I've never watched the film, but I thought it was a good one, so that's why I wanted to make this list. I now pronounce you man and knife. Uh, <laughs> oh, that sounds that? like a Steven Seagal. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. He came up a lot in these lists, oh, but I've never heard that. of any of the Jamie films. Lee Curtis in Halloween. <laughs> it's because he hasn't made a single good film. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's true. Is it Halloween? Hilarious. Well, this. No, it's not Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween. Well, man has a knife in it. I don't know. Um, can you do an impression? Right. Well, I've not seen the film, but this is what I presume it sounds like. <laughs> I oh, now pronounce you man and not. <laughs> wait, wait, let me try that again. <laughs> that wasn't very good anyway. I oh, now pronounce you man and not. <laughs> Is that uh, um, not stuck in his mouth? What? You're along the right lines there with that guess. Uh, what's that one? Um, I, 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 I now pronounce no. That fucking one the what's Bobby's favourite film? Lost Rock and Roller. Rock and Roller. Oh, Rock and Roller, yeah. Not Rock and Roller. Uh, think think more action. action. Oh, okay. Uh <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Mean uh, Machine. Slayer cake. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's a pretty shit action film as well. You're not seeing it. Oh, you haven't seen it, okay. I haven't seen it, I've seen the first one. Can we ask some clues now? Because I really want to get this. Is it Sherlock Holmes? You can ask for clues. I've not seen any Sherlock Holmes. Uh, right, if it's it's pure. I definitely, I've definitely seen it. It's the most action film, oh, probably. Oh, I've not seen it. Is it, like shit is it the one where he has to electrocute himself to uh, stay crank. alive? Crank. Is it from is Crank? It from Crank. Yeah. It's not from Crank. I have no. Who's it, who's okay, the actor? Is it, is it Jason Statham? Yeah, it Jason is Statham. Jason Statham. Oh, Transport Two. Triple X. I don't pronounce you. Man and Knife. <laughs> Transport 2. Wait, Man and Knife? The Expendables. Is that... It's, well, I said I'd only seen the first one. The Expendables 2? Yeah, it's from The Expendables 2. Oh, I got So, Ooh, good quiz. full mark, wait, no, you lose half a point, so 19.5 out of 20. That's good. Mm. I didn't that to the we did very well. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I thought that was a good quote. Well done, guys. But I'd, uh, <laughs> do you want me to ask you an interesting question to fill this void? Yes, yeah, yeah, please. Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I could tell a joke. If you had the budget to, do you want to uh, hear my joke now? Okay, yeah. There's this man, yeah, yeah, and he's uh, driving that. Wait, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a policeman, right? And he's driving down the motorway, <laughs> and he sees this guy in the car in front of him. And he's got an elephant in the passenger seat. What? And he said, he pulls him over and he said, bloody hell, what are you doing with that elephant in your passenger seat? Take that to the zoo now. And he's like, oh, all right, all right, I'll take it to the zoo. Don't lock me up. So he drives, gets back into his car and drives off. And a week later, he's driving down the same motorway, sees the guy in front of him, same guy, same car, elephant is in the passenger seat, so he pulls him over. <laughs> Bloody hell, I told you to take him to the zoo. And the guy goes, 
I did. He loved it. We're going to the yeah. cinema now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good joke, right? Well Ooh. done. Yeah. Ooh. Told that one at work. They fucking loved it. <laughs> Killed it. Yeah, it's pretty did. good. Yeah. Are you getting a promotion? I think so, yeah. <laughs> well... Definitely reckon so. Promotion to you, joke teller. What was your question then? Um, I'll leave you with this. If you had a big budget. Yeah, if you had the budget of uh, Titanic, what What film would you remake? Basically, fucking loads of money. (laughs) What would you remake? And how? What Mm. is it? How big is it? What, the budget of Titanic? Compared to a uh, modern film, like, that they were... It's like a big, there. big blockbuster. Similar to Avatar budget. I know, it was a big blockbuster back in the day. Is it similar to Avatar budget? Mm-hmm. Because you can't imagine it's from the 90s. The budget's just going to be... A big budget then would probably be more like an average budget now, right? He makes a point. Um, I was thinking of the box. I, I, I was guessing you'd you scale up. Oh, the budget for Titanic... Scale, what's the point? That's by the way... Question, huh? This this is this is incredible. The budget for Titanic was two hundred million US dollars, and the box office was two point one eight seven billion dollars. Yeah, that's a big old profit. <laughs> what the fuck? What film would I remake? Not kids. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone loves the question. Okay, it's just us going. Yeah. Hmm. Te- technically, good. technically, <laughs> Titanic had a bigger budget than Avatar. Because Titanic budget obviously two hundred million for inflation, for inflation and um, Avatar so was two hundred and thirty-seven million. Technically, it had a smaller budget. Really? If the inflation would take it to two fifty, they should have Yeah, like twenty five. I'm trying. To... I don't know. What's a that's film that's that isn't that good but has like a good premise that's worth I making always a good film? I think out of. the premise of Chronicle is good, but the film is not good. What you reckon with a bigger budget and I don't think it would be better with a bigger budget. I think it'd be better with it's better more actors more. and a diff- kind of different storyline. I like the premise of the film. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Don't know, I'd just pocket the money. Good Back answer. Off. Yeah. Was that the right answer? Yeah. Josh, what what's the pick? next segment? Well what 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 would you pick? Oh I dunno, I just said it. I haven't really thought about it. Alright. Oh, ah, oh, Transformers. I'd yeah. like a good Transformers film. Redo Transformers. Or maybe like Godzilla. Yeah. A good Godzilla. Yeah, oh, yeah. remake Godzilla. We uh, we just, we just reacted to Transformers then, didn't we? Oh, what? yeah, we did. Say that a bit quiet. We, uh, we just reacted to the Transformers thing, didn't we? The yeah. Transformers news. Yeah, right? you guys won't know that because it's not up. Well, it will be before this comes out. Will it? Yes. Now that, that I've remembered that we filmed that. <laughs> Who, who's was that to edit? I know I got one. Nah, so. I've got it on my computer. Which one, what, one, one did got? I get? Maybe did you, that one? I don't you, know. Did you even get one? Yeah, I got whichever one you two were in together, which I thought was, was Transformers. Transformers. That was Transformers. Then. That's you got true. it then. Just haven't had any time. Been to Wales. Oh, right, yeah. How which, by the way, is full of sheep. You should have fucking taken that lamb dinner. Yeah, I saw a dead lamb... And you know what? We were all stood around. There's sheep fucking everywhere, by the way. Not just a lot of sheep. They are fucking everywhere. I was in the countryside. Come on, yeah. But And then there was this dead one in the middle of the path. And then the farmer came over on a 4x4, picked it up, and just sort of fucking swung it on like a sack of potatoes. It was horrific. What? Onto the roof of this 4x4 or into onto the, the sea? Onto the, wait, not a 4x4. A pickup. A, a quad bike, sorry. Oh, fuck no. And like smacked it on the back of his quad bike and then drove off. He looked really pissed off. tie it up with some bungees No, or just flung it on there like you'd fling shit on a brick. <laughs> How long were you just standing around looking at it? Uh, the classic the, brick shit. Probably about two minutes. Oh, right. Yeah, it's good, good timing then. Picked it up, yeah. taken it home. Yeah. <laughs> Where else did you in Wales? Uh, I had a barbecue indoors. Really? Indie queue. You're not getting smoked out. Yeah, well, it was barbecue food cooked in the oven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I watched Crystal Maze and Takeshi's Castle. I watched the new uh, Ring film, Rings, actually. Oh, yeah. So Are I can talk about that now. Uh, <laughs> it wants to be Mayo. Hello. Right. Go on then. Can you be mayor? Yeah. So, uh, Danny, I understand that you watched uh, Rings this week. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, shit. Yeah? Yep. Want to expand <laughs> on that? Uh, well, the general premise is shit. 
And the acting and What is the premise? Line. I'm actually is it, the ring, is it ring three, essentially? Or is it only I three? don't know. I thought it would be more than that. I don't know. Are there two rings? Yeah. Are there any rings? There's at least two. <laughs> There's a ring one. Ring There's two. a ring one and a ring two at least. What's the premise? Right, so this girl... And does she watch a video and then get die in seven days? <sighs> Will you shut up? <laughs> no, this couple, this couple going guy. The guy's going off to college. He goes off to college, and they're like, "We'll Skype every night," and then they Skype a few nights. But then on the third night or something like that, some girl answers his Skype, and she's like, <gasps> "Where is he? Oh, it's too late. Oh, do oh 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 the video or <laughs> some stupid shit." And then she goes to the college to try and find her boyfriend, and it's got Leonard from The Big Bang Theory. No, wait, plays which one is that? The one that wears the, a the, hoodie the, under a jacket. One that used to go out the with a girl. The main one. The one with glasses. Goes out a penny. Yeah. He used to go out with a girl. Little, chub, well. little chubby dude. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Twat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, he's a professor, and the professor finds this videotape somewhere. Professor the, of what? Studies. Not like Videos. mythology. No, no, a- I can't he's even got remember. Like viral evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's something. Head of the AV club. It's something to do with something shit. And <laughs> right. he finds the the video, obviously the video from the ring. And I guess he figures out how it works because he set up this system where a student will watch it, and then he will find another student to watch it within seven days to keep it going so no one dies. Okay, okay. And he's got this whole system set up, okay. but there's this weird bit where they go to some weird, like, secret SU where everyone's names on the wall with, like, timers and stuff and all this shit. But basically, uh, and then, but then there's some stupid storyline about a priest and how it's, like, Samara is the girl, in the, the ring girl. And it's about her mum and how her mum was imprisoned by this priest while she was pregnant with Samara and then she has the baby and stuff. But I watched it and I thought... It does sound a bit shit. I swear in Ring 1 and 2, don't they go down the well and get her out and resolve the issues or something? No, 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 no. it comes back at the end. It comes back at the end. But you want to shut up, Tom. So, because, doesn't it, doesn't it like they, they copied... Modern they copied the tape which breaks the curse, which saves you, right? So she copies the tape, funny. but then, the, um, and then the, her husband or the guy that she's banging... Or used to ban basically dies when they think they've resolved it, and she's like, "Oh shit, the curse isn't broken." She figures out that it's the copy that saved her, so she, then she makes her son do a copy too. Let and me ask you this. Set. Wait, let me tell you this first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In rings, it's no longer a videotape; it is a uh, file on a computer. Oh, so it's been uploaded to the internet, and oh, everyone and like you have to. Yeah. You That's have gonna to, get some sick views. You have, to down, you have to download it and like pass it on to the next. Surely, it's whatever. already on YouTube. Well, at the end of this film. He uh, gets some virus on his computer and it emails it to everyone. Uh, and then people are replying like, ha ha, what a weird video. Ha, what's that? <laughs> they're like, what the fuck are you like, doing? Oh, oh, I've got a phone call. Sorry. Wait, so what happens if she killed everyone in the world? Then that's just boring for her, isn't it? Everyone watches the video, everyone dies, and then it's not really a fun film. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Rings, it's going to be yeah. everyone dies. Shut yeah. up. Let me ask you this. <laughs> right. You either pick, you've watched the tape from the ring, you're getting chased by It Follows, or you're getting haunted by uh, Freddy Krueger. It Follows. Who who would choose Freddy Krueger in that scenario? What is the Freddy Krueger situation? You just can't your dreams. dreams. You get to in your dreams. But you can fight him in your dreams. And if you kill him in your dreams, you win. Uh, Because in the Simpsons episodes, they kill Willy, right? I believe so. I believe believe you can beat him. I choose the it follows one. I, I feel like you could get rid of that very easily. Fuck mm. someone. Go yeah. and shag someone filthy. Go and shag a problem. Who is gonna shag someone straight away? Yeah. Although that's only two away from you, and they yeah, both die. Yeah, but the die. person they shag will be filthy. It's gonna get away from you so fast. You got to make sure that I don't. I feel like set up an orgy. Now what you're gonna say? Right. You're only, it, that means you're only giving it to one person. No, you're getting if, fucked if I, the person. If I got it here, person, and, right? they, in front of you. and then they all died. The only reason why if I got it here. I'd get a plane to <laughs> fucking Spain, find someone filthy... In the rain. You don't even want to go to... Pass it on, right? I don't want to what? Go to fucking Birmingham. <laughs> you can go live in Spain I or do want to go to Birmingham. Oh, so you... you What's come, going on? You fuck someone in Spain and then come back and give yourself I someone in Spain. a couple of months. I fuck someone in Spain, so it's going to take a long it time to get all the way for to it Spain. to follow it to Spain. At which point... 
that person would have passed it on. It would have gone down a chain of like hopefully like ten people by then. I guess might have even gone to another country. I'm guessing you're shagging like a prostitute. Oh yeah, something well, well, orgy into maybe or oh, someone someone dirty. Because you got to think if it's a prostitute, maybe it's just some loser paying to shag her next, who's not going to shag anyone for ages apart from the same mm, prostitute yeah, over and over again. So probably go to some dirty nightclub. I you reckon you could just find some filthy girl. I feel like if I needed to. <laughs> See, I really, I really, it really. I would shag the kids from Spanish. kids, man. They'll fucking shagging everything. I really hate the idea. <laughs> That'd be a good crossover. Uh, oh yeah. I really hate <laughs> the idea that people like think it, it follows is an easy situation oh, it to it's be. It's easy. It is not easy to be. Easy. You, everyone's idea is just shag loads of people. Just keep shagging no, people. No, I've told you. I've told you. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. If you like, just shag loads of people then and hope they shag some people fine you get it to 10 people down in your list which is your like best hope right Danny no but then 10 people only is gonna, not my best hope it just goes on forever but that's just not how it would work that's like a best case scenario is that you manage to get it so that it fucks somehow some chain of 6 billion people but it's still just a temporary fix what, where it's really the ring you can fit you can get out of it just by <laughs> making a copy Obviously, that's the right answer to choose. It follows this like, okay, I can go yeah, to the other side of the world. Got but then, someone. okay, fine, you've got six months until it walks under the ocean and gets to you in New Zealand or whatever. Like, wait, it's wait, still, wait. it's still, it's no way of making, of giving yourself an indefinite, like, th- an th- infinite th- amount of time you're with, like before you go kill. underestimating how easy it is to get rid of this it follows. I think you're underestimating how, yeah. oh, I'm I feel like it's like scary. There's an easier way than both of you guys, where you well. just take it into the police station and well. spray paint it. Spray paint what? Spray paint the it follows. But then it kills every single policeman. Yeah, but it's like policeman. supernatural. It like snapped that guy in half. Yeah. What are they going to do if it goes, if it, if it's, And they if, shoot if you, it. If you, if, you, if you wait outside the police station until you see it, you spray paint it, you go into the police station, you're like, this guy's trying to kill me when it walks in. This walking paint. Yeah. <laughs> and then it kills like four policemen. Well, they're going to be like, well, what the fuck's that? They're going to try and take it down. them in half. Well, then they, they call reinforcement. It's like, yo, yeah. Well, yeah. What, what's, what well is, at what some is there, point, no, they're going to they're gonna gonna get it. They're going to trap it. What is there to suggest that they could possibly trap it? All we see in the film is it gets shot and it does nothing to them. And when it kills that guy and the girl <laughs> right the start, it fucking bends them yeah, all in half, right? Yeah, it literally slaps Like the girl and the kids. If you get the... <laughs> legs up everywhere like, if you oh. get the like authorities involved what do you think they're just gonna go just to gonna the gonna pass it on. soon enough so you why don't you just what if the government gets involved they're you... gonna fucking mess it up why don't you just shag uh, the chief of police and that way it's his problem he's gonna have you all of that at his expense shag okay. Henry Rollins <laughs> cause if anyone can deal with it yeah. do we know if it, do we know if it is transferred through gay sex though I don't know so. that for sure. Have sex with Henry Rollins' wife. No, I'm gonna have sex with Henry Rollins. Okay. Why are you ruining this movie? <laughs> I was just saying, like, maybe it's something to do with some ah. holy sexiness of straight the, people. The chances of it catching you, if you know it's your turn, are pretty low. Yeah, but I guess it's not like, 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 paranoid. You can't, up to me you really can't fall asleep, you fucking idiot. It's terrifying. Right, how about? long does it take to drive to, to walk to London from here? About. Like About two weeks? Probably, no, less than that. A lot you know, more than a night's sleep. Five days. Oh, so you're just going to commute to London every single day. Your life is fucking ruined. Right, every single day. Go there for a week. Well, and you guys, your life is made better. You're traveling. What about your You're job? So many countries. You guys were talking about. You start it. a blog. You two were talking about it follows. I'm getting going followed. Over, you were talking about getting it walking Bear underwater. Followers. But surely it will just like it's morph not, into the person. It's not bound by. But yeah, no, no, you and you were like, well, we have to wait for it to walk to Spain. Oh, okay. No, you wouldn't have to do that. It no. would just be like, oh, I'm in Spain now. No, the, the, rules, no. the rules are clearly stated. It literally it has to walk. It has yeah. to walk. So it can't switch bodies. No. And like, no. It's clearly stated that oh, it, that's it just walks to you. That's the point easy. that they drive yeah. away from it. Oh, well, that's ludicrously easy then. No, it's just... Australia. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fly to Australia. How long will it take I'm to just... fucking walk to Australia? <laughs> oh, and now I'm going to fly I'm... all the way to Svalbard. And all I'm saying... Time. All yeah. I'm saying... And bang someone all in I'm every saying... place you go. A shag a day keeps it follows away. <laughs> All you're saying is a load of wrong shit. You're saying a lot I'm just of saying wrong shit. so many. It's just a temporary fix. If you want your life to go back to normal, so you, you have to somehow 
trap some girl, rape her, and then explain her you the don't situation. Have to rape anyone. So that she well, like, can it follow? Where the fuck did this rape aspect well, come from? She gets raped mind. and it follows. Just because that's doesn't. his solution doesn't mean and that, that would be my solution. That works though. What, almost. What, what? It's more permanent than just a shaggy day. Is How it? do you even walk then, then shagging How do you someone know? shagging someone who's capable of not getting to... killed by it? Why That's is a it more situation. permanent than a shag a day? Wait, can it if I you shagged once, you got you got rid of it. Yeah, right? but you no, shag you shag kills... every day in case it kills that person. It, if it kills it's a chain, isn't it? Yeah, it but goes it, back. it doesn't chain onto the next person you shag. Yeah, it does. No, no, it doesn't chain onto oh, the no. next person you shag. But say I shag Tom, yeah, then it's coming for Tom and after it's killed Tom, it's coming back for me. So but you shag but if the knows. next day I shag T right, just after it's killed Tom, it's coming for T next. Even oh, though, no, that's fucking even though Tom's probably already gone on and shagged you anyway, so the chain's extended. Yeah, this is a chain. But I just have a I'm shag coming for you, Josh. Case. If you get the chain to like twenty, <laughs> Tom, then fuck off to Australia. Like, this thing ain't <laughs> if, yeah. yeah, if we just if we got it, if one of us got it, we could just I guess create a kind of shag chain between us and be like, Shane. let's just keep shagging each other in a kind of endless cycle. I reckon never... if you put it on like Reddit on like our shag our maths equations. They, you'd get like some super mathematician who just work out some kind of formula of how to beat it follows. Yeah. How to shag everyone. It, in the it, world. It's like right mega thread. You can make a GoFundMe, right? Of being like, hey, get Donate traction. We want to make followers. the world's longest shag chain. Mm. I'm going to, with this money, fly all of the people who put money in. They tell you what you into... do. You go to an orgy, right? Shag someone at the start of the orgy, be the and first, by yeah. the end of the orgy, You've got 30 it's people. already passed on to like thirty people. Yeah, and then but they're all in the same place. They'll die quite quick. No, because you go to an orgy ten miles away. <laughs> <laughs> so by the imagine, time it gets there, everyone's left and gone to another orgy. Imagine <laughs> oh my God. you're at an orgy where it follows is, and you're like banging. <laughs> <laughs> he's killing that guy, and then you're oh, banging the next guy. He's killing. He's running that around guy. grabbing people. <laughs> <laughs> Horrific. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe I follow this is the right one to pick then. I mean, I definitely not picking Freddy Krueger. The You're ring, not doing that. The ring is the easiest one to do though because you just watch it and then you so make what, a copy. So with the ring, you make a copy. Yeah. yeah. And then and then you show that to someone else. No, you don't have to even show it to no, someone. Just make a copy of it. You just have to Why make a copy. Why does that beat it? Because the more copies that there are in the world, the happier it is because it's more like a chance you're gonna. It's gonna fucking. Um, I've never seen that. Yeah. In, the, in the ring, all, all they have that's to do the, is make a copy and the thing. Can go at the end of the American one, that's how they get rid of the curse. Not at the end of The Ring. The film The Ring. Yeah. The Ring. Right? The at the ring, end of The, the Ring, end. that's how they get they rid of it. They just make a copy of she the press, video. Like, there's a video of her holding her son's hand while he presses copy on the, on the, on the video. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. Right. He, he has, has, to, he has copy. to do it. Because he's watched also the watched it. She copied one and then she right, made him. Right, so it's not after him then? Not anymore, it's not. As soon as he copies it, it's no longer after him. No. So who's it after? No, just, uh, Whoever else has watched it. It's her, not like it follows. Yeah, it's not like it follows. Just waits until someone watches it. Yeah, no, but Dorman. it's after you until you show someone else it, right? No, no. it's after you until you make a copy of the video so that it, the copy of the video can get out there and be watched by other people. So why do you have to show it to someone else? You don't. You don't. Well, have I just missed the premise of all these films or something? Basically, you find this videotape, you watch it, you die in seven days. Unless you show it to someone Unless else. Unless you make a copy of the video. There's nothing to do with showing it to someone else. Unless you make a copy. Else. Yeah. yeah. That's but then, stupid. yeah, but in that one I watch where they've got a computer, <laughs> control C, control V. <laughs> yeah, control C. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's clearly been lost. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> well, this is easy. That was done. I'm going to YouTube. Yeah, I don't remember that, but I don't really remember the films because they're shit. This is just could you just like, video, if, you fa- if you watch the video on YouTube, could you just send the link to your mate? And that guy's like a copy of it. Watch something. this and then copy it. Oh, <laughs> no one is no one is choosing Freddy Krueger. <laughs> You're sending it to you for like a joke. Literally, yeah. no one <laughs> is choosing. Unlucky, mate. Right? Yeah. Uh, you watched it again, dickhead. Like at least in it follows. You can stay away. <laughs> I've made too many copies. Oh, yeah. Stop sending it to me. <laughs> yeah, at least in it follows. You're do, awake, do, and do, in the ring, you're awake. In Freddy Krueger, you would. Yeah, that's no, inside the world. You would, you would die so quickly. But imagine having a dream where you were, uh, like, in said dream, you had superpowers or whatever, you know? Like, they happen every now and then. You get sick or something, or you can fly or whatever. As, yeah, and you just wait until that dream, 
And then you just take on Freddy Krueger in like the ultimate battle. But what about all the dreams where he's already fucked you up? So and plus, you're not times. in a dream; you're in a nightmare because it's his. He controls the dream. Yeah, you know how in a dream when you try and punch someone and you just like wet and <sighs> slap the air next to them. Right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, Freddy Krueger controls where you are. That's why everyone's in that fucking disgusting yeah, cage that weird, place. Yeah, like boiler room. Yeah, sort of. he controls everything in there, and he can just interdimensionally switch from where he is. Oh, I'm in your dream. Your dream. Fuck it. You're gonna go to bed, are you? It's like it follows. They can shag someone and what slice think, it and then go away. What do you think is the worst horror movie setup to be? The in? Descent, one hundred percent. The Descent. Um, I would uh, kill myself there must be within worse two ones seconds. Than the Descent. Maybe uh, like a Saw movie. The or Descent is horrible. No, the Descent would just. I, that's like my biggest fear. I know it's not actually the worst one, but I actually wouldn't like to be, be to be chased by both Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. Yeah, Halloween would be bad. They're just, they're just, because they're both really persistent. Like with, with all these ones, you just change. And the Halloween make, this thing one's is like, we've you. killed you, to it's dark. Yeah, and you can't, like, you could, there's one where Mike Myers gets fucking driven a car into a tree that he's up, and he's just like, yeah, I'm still alive yeah, now. Yeah, it's like a wedge Woo! there. He's like a Terminator. And Jason, when he pulls that woman into the fucking lake, I'm not having that done to me, mate. Are you mad? Terminator. Um, I mean, Terminator maybe 2. something like, Fucking, I wouldn't want to be in an alien film. Yeah. I know they're not horrors, but that's like just as bad. Yeah, I was gonna say Terminator used to fuck me up as a kid, and I've always had nightmares about being in that situation. <laughs> that's so, scary. Being, fuck being, being in Terminator. Sarah Connor in the first Terminator. Oh, yeah. Terminator Two is just as bad, man. I fucking that T two thousand or whatever, uh, man. Uh, I'm fucking terrified. I think I'd rather have. I think he's less scary than just having Arnie coming after you. No, because the fact that the way he like morphed into, I always had yeah, this this uh, this really terrifying thought that he was underneath my bed and he was just gonna put his finger up and it would turn into a knife that would go through my mattress and just kill me. You know that's been that. You know how many times that's been like copied. And I literally just realised this. What like just the the thing of having like sticking up one finger and the monster or whatever has like a claw or a blade or something that he can just extend out of one finger. Like what? And like it. in like it happens all the time in like Buffy, or like I watched it in like Ash vs Evil Dead. Is in Buffy kind of in bef- Evil Dead before Terminator Two or around the same Buffy time? Buffy was anyway? like nineties, wasn't uh, Terminator Two? I don't know. Yeah. Terminator Two was nineties. I don't know what came first. To be fair, yeah. But uh, you, 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 you know what I mean, like that, like sticking that up one finger, and he's like. Shh. Uh, kind of. I don't really. I just remember the phone call with uh in Terminator Two yeah, when he's to the awesome. mum. John, John. What's the dog call? Skipper. Isn't he like Nasher? Is that Baxter. <laughs> yes. I was uh, I watched. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> I watched um, Don't Breathe again yesterday. That film is scary. That would be yeah, a I would bad not be set. Don't Breathe is also the, uh, the man, right? Who has the like a ghost, a chamber of sex. The blind the man, yeah. Do you know, you know that That's one? That's so scary. Isn't that one where at the beginning of the film, you see what happens to the girl at the end of the film? Where she's been dragged down yeah, the road yeah, 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 yeah. by the guy? Yeah. Right. Whenever that happens that in the film, that? I always forget that it happens at the start of the film. I thought that it doesn't we, end like that, but that's near. The you end. know how the beginning of it follows starts kind of like that situation. I thought we were, that was the main character. And she was. We we're gonna go to like seven days earlier. She died or something. But then it's just like the, a different girl in the chain, isn't it? She's a prison. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hmm? She arrested. No, she gets away with it with the money. Is that? Yeah. Hey. To go in the... Uh, yeah, the she moves. She's in, like, the airport at the end yeah. of the end, she... But the, um, the blind guy is on TV, like, he survived the night. Mm-hmm. And uh, it says, like... Uh, it's, like, on the news, and he's like, the Iraq war veteran managed to shoot and kill the two intruders in his house. So I guess it's kind of setting up for a sequel. Maybe. No, I don't think there'll be a but sequel. But what are the happens I, when I they walk in and see all the... Movie. Shit in his basement. The woman and then just the fucking semen and... All that. What happens when they see that? <laughs> they like, oh, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you've got a massive torture chamber here, so we're going to have to arrest cool, you yeah. and. Yeah. It's, it's just quite clearly fucking... inseminating women down here. It's just so. an S and M chamber, isn't it? It's like... it oh, is no, it's a well one. fucking horrible film, though. That's yeah. like Jesus. When he gets the fucking thing shoved in his mouth, like the jizz. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the fucking turkey yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is it the blind guy is genius. Yeah. Have oh, you seen the film? No. Do you know what it's about? Uh, I know there's about two guys who try and rob some Three. guy and it's the wrong person. It's two guys and a girl and they it's this war veteran and they know he's just had like a big settlement for some reason. His girl, his daughter his got daughter ran over. Gets run over yeah. And he got given like $3 million or something like that. So they they go and rob his house because they just think it's an old man. But and, it turns out he's a and psychopath. Then while he's walking, they realise he's a blind old man as well. And they're like, oh, so this will be easy. Yeah, it's like, this is easy. We're going to go and rob his house. And then they get in the house and he like wakes up. They end up getting stuck in the house. Like he locks the door and it turns out he's fucking like ex war vet, absolute fucking nut job. Beast. And they're like trying to get out of his house. And obviously, you've got to be really quiet because he's got really good hearing. It's like, you know, like. Blind Man's Bluff game. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like a film of that, but if, if you get he catches caught, you, you, he's going to you kill you. inseminated. <laughs> well, he's, he's either going to kill you or he's yeah, got inseminate you. <laughs> the, girl that, uh, the girl that ran over his daughter, he's got her locked up in the basement and he's inseminated her with his jizz because he wants a kid from her. And he's like, once he, she gives me the kid, she can go. And then they get into the basement and realise this shit. But it's fucking horrible. He ends up how big accidentally is this, shooting the girl. How big is this house that you can kind of just Whoops, keep going sorry. between rooms and avoid it? It's quite a big house. Sort of like, this actual you know, house is not that big, but the basement's really big. Do you remember yeah. that board game that we played when you're essentially trying to... It's not to, as big as that house. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a kind of setup that, you want, like a Cluedo house kind of setup. That was setup. like an endless house. What, and you fall through into the basement? Yeah, and stuff like that, you know, and to avoid the monster chasing them. But there's a there's a scene in the basement where um, basically he turns off all the lights and there's just a guy and a girl and him in the basement and obviously he turned off the lights so he has the advantage. And that was and done so scary. really well as well. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen something in a film where they show pitch black mm, in that the, way. Yeah. Like, Because obviously done? you can't just go pitch black. It, just, it, it goes pitch black and then they're like... Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on? And then it kind of goes to this like kind of grey scale. Yeah, it's all just grey. Yeah, kind of like and in it's... the descent, right? Because yeah. there are bits in the descent where she's in like this pitch black cavern, but it's kind of lit by this faint back light, this red back light. No, it's it's not like that because mm. in stuff like it, it's literally just the whole thing is grey. It's it's hard to describe other than saying the whole thing is dark and grey, but it looks really good and it illustrates it in a way that mm. I have never seen in any other film. It looks better really... than just found footage, uh, night vision sort of style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it looks really good because it's, I don't know their faces as well. You can tell it's like they can't see shit, and it's it, and know, he's got he's, say, he's got really all good. these like little cues around his house, so he like knows his yeah, way like around. Yeah, bells and shit that he knocks yeah. on. And so he knows weird. like just that bell is there and shit. It's really good. Cool. Why does he even cool. have lights? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess he just never uses them. Yeah, They're just remnants. Yeah. Yeah. You'd, you'd think like his bulbs would have broken; it wouldn't have replaced. Well, them. if he never uses them, then yeah, it's probably the first time they've switched on. Like, years. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a really fucking scary dog. I mean, does he have guests round often? Well, I think <laughs> the girl chained up in the basement. His daughter, maybe. Yeah, when you find the, the girl that's just blasted in the basement, like, oh well, she's dead. You inseminated her for some daft reason. Now we're going to arrest you, and there's no sequel because you can't really have. I a don't sequel. think there'll be a sequel anyway. Yeah, I don't think there will be, but I think they were kind of leaving it open. I I think they were just. It was kind of like a, you know, like that. It follows ending where it's like, oh, you've always got to look over your shoulder. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Like that guy in a way was a little bit supernatural. Like fucking, <laughs> you wouldn't put it past him to somehow be behind you yeah. in the airport, ready to do you in. It's kind of like. Oh, While you're on your way always, to Spain to shag someone. Yeah, it's like you're always going to be a bit fucking scared of this guy. Fuck he's me. got some serious old man strength. <laughs> yeah, he is a ripped old man. God, that film is fucking like, from about 15 minutes in, you're like, hoo, hoo, like on the, end of, on the end of your seat, like your heart's going. It sounds good, I'm going to definitely watch it. It's fucking good. It yeah. is good. It's you, like, you know that bit in uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane? No, I've seen, seen it. it. Still uh, seen it. Good film. Yeah, similar to vibes. Mm. To similar kind of claustrophobia. Yeah. yeah. Is it as good as The Descent? Which what? film? The Descent. Which, no, which? It's what as good as The Descent? Oh, um... Don't, don't breathe. breathe. Don't breathe. No. Um, no. 
I'd yeah, say it's really no. good, but they the descent is awesome. really, really good. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely like a good film, really good film. Ah, uh, say so that's about time to wrap it up. What do you guys reckon? How long has it been? About an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, cheers for listening to that podcast, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If we covered anyone, a broad range of topics. Don't you ever get to this bit and think no one in the entire rest of the universe will ever listen to yeah, this you, bit of audio well, again? No, you just got to do it. Don't you? you fucking say it every just single time. <laughs> to myself. Right? You just have to do it. Don't you? Right. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. We've had a good conversation. I don't, mind if, I don't mind if someone else gets to enjoy it as well. And people who don't are missing out. Remember when Tom said he put spoons up his butt and eats the poo? Yeah. <laughs> That's that a classic weird. point. Spoon. That's a weird spoon, moon, isn't it? Spoon. Spoon. That's a really gross spoon. Really puts the funny. poo in spoon. Man, we... <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, weird. you do put the poo in spoon. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a like and subscribe, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>